everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is MJ Pinky. I'm a writer and writing consultant. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about my editing process for chapter 32 in my novel. I really strongly considered cutting this chapter uh, because there are a lot of characters in this first draft that are no longer there. And once I removed them, there wasn't a lot left to this chapter. And so this seemed like the prime chapter to cut. Um, however, this is also a chapter where there's a lull in travel with my characters. So I decided to go back through my novel and dissect each chapter to see where I've introduced conflicts and see which ones are still kind of hanging out there as loose threads. Because this is really a chapter that makes sense to resolve some of those and provide some closure not only between characters, but also for the reader as well. So in chapter 25, two characters have like a steamy sexual encounter. And then right after that, in the next chapter, they kind of have a little spat. And that has not been resolved yet. And both of these characters are present in chapter 32. And so it makes sense for me to take this opportunity to rework this chapter so that that spat is kind of addressed and these characters can move on from there with the outcome of this conversation. And so that's what I did with this chapter. Um, I recommend creating some kind of flow chart to help you keep track of each chapter and the conflicts that you introduce and the tension that you build um, and kind of linking those back to a future chapter where you resolve that. Because what's gonna happen if you have conflicts that aren't resolved by the end of your book it's gonna read kind of like a plot hole the the reader is gonna think okay well this happened but nothing ever came of that so it's going to create inconsistencies and non-cohesiveness in your narrative to have things just kind of hanging out there like that so try to keep track of those i'm going to do a better job of keeping track of those now that i have gone through this process for chapter 32 um, so just keep that in mind as you're going back through your editing process, try to keep track of your conflicts and your resolutions and make sure that everything that you introduce um, has a resolution by the end and everything ties up really nicely. That's kind of the big thing here. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you found this helpful. I will see you guys in a future video. Happy writing.